Hey guys, what's up? Bisect the Tron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next video. And in this one, I'm talking about the Town Hall 11 update uh, that dropped about a little over a month ago and the effects it's had on the war community. So, as you guys know, there's been a lot of backlash by just the entire community in general, the entire Clash community about uh, how it's changed the game. And unfortunately, that kind of overshadows and kind of drowns out what a lot of the war community is saying because uh, obviously they're just a very small section of the bigger community and there's a lot more casual farmers than there are uh, what you would call war enthusiasts so uh, the voice has kind of been drowned out by the overarching uh, complaints of the entire community so it's important still to look at how it's affected a war and uh, the impacts it's had on clan wars and I'm just gonna go through uh, my thoughts basically on this subject so before the update dropped, Town Hall 10 was a pretty much a two-star game. Uh, there were attempts at three stars, especially on uh, lower Town Hall 10s, but for a max Town Hall 10 anti-three-star layout, um, it was very difficult to three-star. It took a lot of uh, different attempts, a lot of scouts, a lot of experimentation um, with different attacks. So it ate up a lot of attacks. It was mainly... Um, modders who were able to get the three stars. Obviously, there were people that could still three star, um, not to take anything away from them. There were people that could still three star Town Hall 10s, but no one really could consistently. Um, and it was very difficult, uh, too difficult, most people agree. And two star was still kind of the meta at Town Hall 10. Uh, Town Hall 9 was kind of the sweet spot for war. It had kind of been slipping a little bit leading up to the uh, Town Hall 11 update. Uh, the, the balance had been kind of favoring the attacker a little bit too much. Um, just because of Queen Walk and various things like that that have allowed the attacker to have an advantage over the base that they're attacking. So um, it was still balanced to some extent, but it wasn't perfect. Obviously, after the update, that changed a lot. Um, the update basically brought Town Hall 11, which to this day, I can't talk about how balanced it is, whether it's two-star or three-star, because um, we haven't seen a whole lot of max town hall 11 attackers in war attacking other fairly maxed out town hall 11 bases just haven't seen a whole lot of that from what i've seen it's um, a two-star game the eagle hasn't been as powerful as i thought it would be uh so that you know it, it's possible it could be a three-star game at some point but under the current system it looks like it's going to be uh two stars is the standard for war and that goes for the top war players as well uh three starring a good layout of a town hall 11 with everything maxed out doesn't seem feasible. I could be wrong. Um, haven't seen a whole lot from Town Hall 11, uh, so I may stand corrected, but that's just my thought right now. As far as Town Hall 10 after the update, um, it's gotten better. It's uh, it's made some progress. Basically, uh, Town Hall 10 after the update, what's really changed is the extra 30 seconds, the extra spell slot. Um, those have helped the attacker out, and obviously, uh, Town Hall 11 troops, you do have the uh, level 3 witches. Now, those typically aren't used in 3-star attacks at Town Hall 10, uh, so I guess those aren't that much of an impact. But um, like the other two things I said, the extra 30 seconds, the extra spell slot, uh, it's getting closer. Obviously, Queen Walks were nerfed a little bit, but not too much, especially if you're only bringing like 3 or 4 healers. It's not that different, so uh, Town Hall 10 is getting a little bit closer. The only thing I'm concerned about with Town Hall 10 is basically the way that Go La Loon seems to be the only uh, reasonable strategy to use to 3-star. Obviously, people are using Hogs as well, but those are against compact bases, usually level 2 Inferno Towers, or just lower level in general. Not many spots for giant bombs. Um, if you have a very high level Town Hall 10, and it has not even double giant bombs, just five good single spots in spring traps between defenses, uh, you pretty much can't Hog it, and that, that basically goes... Uh, for pretty much all Town Hall 10 bases, not even that strict of a rule, just in general, if you have a somewhat solid Town Hall 10 base with a good layout, uh, hogs aren't going to be a good option against it. Uh, they're level 5, they're kind of more suited for Town Hall 9. So basically, Go La Luna is really the only thing that's made 3 stars possible at Town Hall 10, and they're becoming easier to do. They're not quite balanced yet. I think most people in the war community agree uh, it needs to be a little bit easier. It still takes too many scouts and too many different attempts to try to three-star at Town Hall 10, even after the update. 
Uh, but it's getting closer. But like I said, my main concern is that um, it's not really a fun war, at least in my opinion. It's not a very a fun war town hall level if there's only one real strategy that's used for three star. Because uh, then, you know, base builders are just worrying about air defenses and the queen and, you know, the wizard towers, Tesla's archer towers, all that air targeting stuff. They're not worrying about hog pathing, uh, which in an ideal system like how Town Hall 9 used to be, um, that they had to think about multiple different attack strategies and try to uh, plan out their base to defend against each one. Uh, but for right now, it seems like Golo Loon's the only viable option against a good layout of a maxed Town Hall 10 base. Um, I'll talk about what can be done to improve that in a moment, but switching over to Town Hall 9, um, after the update, it's kind of ruined the balance to some extent. It was already slipping, like I said, but this was a big jump. Extra 30 seconds made a huge difference. Um, time was always a big factor, especially with Queen Walks, Town Hall 9, and how people used to dissect bases. Um, it might They would run out of time a lot before the update. With the extra 30 seconds, I haven't seen it very often. Uh, you can do bigger queen walks now and really take advantage of different sections of the base. So it's it's become a little bit unbalanced at Town Hall 9. Obviously, the new uh, spell donation makes it so that basically you can uh, bring four earthquakes and then like three heals if you're doing a hog attack or three rages, um, some combination of that. Uh, so just too many spells, too much time has really kind of pushed Town Hall 9 too far to the favor of, in the favor of the attacker. So... Um, there are things that can be done to change it, which I'll get to in a moment, but Town Hall 9 really took a big hit after the update, and it's made it much too easy for the attacker. Uh, now, I think the fix for Supercell is fairly easy. I wish um, that they were worried more about the war community. Um, obviously, they're, they're more concerned with their larger player base, which is the casual farmers who have been upset by the new uh, town hall sniping, how that's been taken away, as well as, well as various other things in the loot system. So that's their main concern, but if they do get a chance to focus on the war uh, aspect of the game and how to help balance it out, I think I have a few fixes that could just, uh, for the most part, be very easy to implement based on what we've seen and really help out the war community. So the first thing I'd like to see is um, a level 2 expo at Town Hall 8 and a level 1 Inferno Tower at Town Hall 9. Um, these are, I mean, we've seen them add mortars and stuff. I don't think it's that difficult to add a defense to a Town Hall level. Um, and basically, basically, the level 2 expo, you only get one of them for Town Hall 8. Uh, just helps balance that out a little bit better. Obviously, Town Hall 8 never has been the, the meta for war in Clan Wars, but... It's, it would make it a little bit more balanced and a little bit more fun of an experience. could build some more unique bases. And obviously, dragons uh, aren't usually used against max Town Hall 8 bases with anti-3 layouts. Uh, so the expo could be set on ground only, and really it could really cover the entire base. So it, it would make a difference, especially at level 2. And I think that would help balance that out a little bit and um, wouldn't be that hard to implement. Um, as far as the Inferno Tower at Town Hall 9, just a level 1. Uh, you only get one of them. And it would help combat the queen walk, especially the queen walk that enters into the base. Um, you'd kind of have to keep your queen outside of its radius unless you wanted to try to take it out directly with the queen walk. Um, obviously, because the inferno tower blocks the healing effects. And I think it would also kind of combat hogs and balloons, which are the main two troops used in the three star attacks. Uh, so I think it would be very effective to use or to add a Town Hall uh, 9 Inferno Tower. We already got the freeze spell, so it kind of makes sense to get the uh, level 1 Inferno to go along with that. Um, so hoping to see that implemented. Um, I think it will definitely make it um, much more closer to ba being balanced. And another thing to add is that it always kind of surprised me that at Town Hall, or from Town Hall 8 to Town Hall 9, uh, you get you know two Expos right away, both to level 3, then Town Hall 9 to Town Hall 10, then boom, you get two level three Inferno Towers. It seemed like a big jump, and I always thought there should be more of a progression as far as the upgrades go between Town Hall levels. Um, so I think it would make sense that you get an Expo first, then you get the, the second one at Town Hall 9, you get an Inferno Tower, and then you get a second one at Town Hall 10. It seems like a little bit more of a logical progression through the game, but that's just my opinion. I think those two additions would help balance those Town Hall levels. Uh, Town Hall 10 is a bit of a trickier uh, situation, 
basically at Town Hall 10, you have the problem where the attacker is actually at a disadvantage. And obviously, you can't really remove defenses. So you have to try to tweak the troops you can use um, and or the spells you can use. You have to somehow tweak the offensive part of the game to help balance that out. And that's always harder. Um, one concern I have is that they, if they add an extra troop to Town Hall 10, which I think would be a good idea, um, the unintended consequence might be to uh, hurt Town Hall 9, Town Hall 8 um, in the form of CC troops. Because if it's a really overpowered troop, uh, a Town Hall 9 could bring it into atta an attack and it could uh, really screw up the balance there. So I think um, if they add a new troop to Town Hall 10 to help balance it out, um, it should be something that helps ground uh, troops, so something that would promote the use of hogs or valks, something other than go la loon, because we want to see diversity at that level. And also, I think it should be a 35 troop space uh, troop. That way you can't bring it at Town Hall 9, Town Hall 8, anything like that. So you don't have to worry about it ruining the balance, because I think it would, if it's too powerful, affect the balance. Even if you do add the Inferno Tower Expo idea to Town Hall 9 and 8, I think um, any kind of troop that would help balance Town Hall 10 uh, would probably ruin the balance of Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 8. So it should be 35 troop space, make it you can just bring it in a Town Hall nine, uh, Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11 clan castle. Um, that'll basically help remove any chance of it affecting Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 8. Uh, like I said, it should be a ground troop that, or something that benefits the use of ground troops. Obviously it has to be pretty powerful because uh, we're talking a 35 troop space troop that's the biggest we've seen in the game so it would have to be very powerful uh, but worth it and worth it to train up and it hopefully if they can do that um, that will definitely help Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 uh, and make it hopefully you know a three-star game the kind of balance we saw at Town Hall 9 a year ago maybe a little bit less but um, those are just my thoughts on the update. Obviously, the Clash community isn't the, or the war community isn't the biggest concern of Supercell right now because the whole community is kind of up in arms. Uh, but hopefully, once they get around to it, they can see that these changes are probably needed and go ahead and implement them. Uh, the only new thing that we really want to see is a new troop at Town Hall 10. I think most people agree that that would uh, help the game. Um, but I think the Inferno Tower at 9 and the Expo at 8 would also be very easy things to do, but they would also satisfy the war community for quite a while. Uh, by helping balance out those two town hall levels. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video though. Hope you enjoyed the attacks in the background. Uh, see you guys later. Uh, ranged war coverage coming up this weekend. Stay tuned for that uh, by Sectatron out.